Let's roll and roll. I wonder how far this goes. Tossing a cell phone in? Yes. Never mind. If all this will work. My idea was actually kind of smarter. <laughs> Contact the cell phone now. Alright. 997-521-884. Let's teleport. Da -da 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 -da. got view obtained cell phone well we're in a new area of the hospital I'm actually kind of exciting so. okay that actually got me uh, because I'm not having to just go through the same thing again there are a bunch of industrial washing machines I think it's part of my problem with the hospital you spend so much time going through all the rooms over and over again I've had to do it multiple times so I'm like I'm sick of the hospital but this is a new section of the hospital so I'm, I'm liking this but it's just because I haven't been through it a bajillion times and I'm gonna have to go to the hospital at least one more time before this game is over because I have to replay Rin's chapter where she goes to the hospital the whole chapter. <clears throat> Save there and let's do our work. Oh, this must, yeah, this is the other side of that uh, thing that's always been closed. Make sure there's like nothing in here. It's a laundry room. Somebody needs to do laundry in the hospital, especially since the things can get bloody and. You know, nobody, no patient wants to be living on a bloody fucking blanket or something. One of those elevator things. Yeah, I'm not going through there. Anything over here? Negatory captain. Well, I guess it's through the salon hallway. Three. Oh. I'll get back. Oh. Oh. I'll get back to that. Five. Six. Wait, that's not what I was expecting. Behind me. Oh. Oh. Well, there she goes. Oi. All right, let's go investigate these doors. Doors around. She went to a door I can't even enter. This door will open though. What's in here? Basement data room. There could be information regarding the stream of mysterious deaths here, which actually means I want to go in that room later. <laughs> Some ghost really wanted to face plant itself into the fucking facility door there. That's not open. This one's open. Where she stayed. This is the morgue. That's her body. Oh, geez. It's actually her body. It's burn it. I'm just kidding. It's in her a folding chair. Probably a bad thing. Their vice is right here. A candle stand. Bells and flowers have been placed here. Why would they keep. What was the nurse doing with her body? This child. Not exactly the situation I would have hoped for. Oh, of course. Oh, 
Oh, she's still haunting us. Ugh, I should have investigated that room. That was a mistake. Throw one open. Maybe to the data room. Nope. She usually disappears after a set period of time, I find. Did I pass the door? Oh yeah, here we go, she's almost dead. She only does this when she's almost gone. Now she's gonna disappear. Yep. Well, that was an unfortunate series of events. Let's go open this then. And now her body is, of course, gone. That's about what I expected. There are cases used for storing corpses. There is an electric lock on it. But I cannot use the electronic lock because why would I be able to? Why do I want to open up wargs and look at dead bodies? That's the real question. Alright, now there was another door over here that was locked previously. It was because I was getting attacked. It's open now. It's open now, but I don't want to go in it. <laughs> so, I guess the only thing that's left is to go for the room that we actually want to go inside. You. Is that immediately a note I want? You obtained report one. On August 3rd, a long-term patient committed suicide at 2.20 p.m. Named Ryako Asagi, age 13, jumped out of the window from room 302 where Nurse Sabino witnessed the act. On the day of the incident, Nurse Sabino was tending to an emergency patient that was admitted into the same room. According to all accounts, the hospital was not at fault. Here's another paper. Report 2. On August 10th, Nurse Nishizaka discovered Nurse Sabino, who had collapsed while working the night shift. Nurse Sabino passed away five hours later. The hospital performed an autopsy after gaining permission from the family, but no anomalies were discovered and the cause of death remains unknown. According to Nurse Nishizaka's report, Nurse Sabino had been using her own laptop to visit a chat room that recently deceased Raiko Asagi had frequently used. Well, that's obviously not related. Just a weird coincidence. Uh, there are tons of medical charts that would take us forever to look through, which is why we're going to look for the shinies. The shinies will show me the way. That's what I've learned from video games. Look for the shiny. Hmm. There's another report. Report 3. September 22nd, Takio Shimura in room 201 suddenly lost consciousness and passed away two hours later. The hospital was unable to obtain permission to perform an autopsy. Before the incident, Mr. Shimura's condition was improving and was set to be discharged soon. The cause of death remains unknown, but the circumstances are similar to Nurse Sabino's case. Alrighty. Let's continue our investigation. Uh... Certainly looking around the hospital area. Any other hidden notes that want to be found? Multiple areas. Any hidden reports back here? There's no hidden. Wait, actually, there's one right there. Report 5, but I've missed 4 somewhere. March 26, the decision has been made to close the hospital. Responsibility must be taken in light of the five deaths that have occurred in the past year. It's very hard to shoulder the blame for something without any concrete evidence to even suggest that it had ha what had happened. The director is Mari making arrangements with other hospitals to secure employment for all employees. What a nice director. Does that include himself? No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Going and checking things. Oh, 
not seeing anything in this bookshelf area. How about over here? In this crevice of the world. Here's one. Here's the four I missed. This is a report of a fourth death. Due to the frequency of these deaths, the media frenzy is unlikely to die down. Please advise everyone to refrain from making any careless comments. The scandal that forced this hospital to close down all began with the suicide of Ryako Sagari. Who is this girl? I don't know, but you were just kind of uh, attacked by her, so take that as you will. What do you want to do with this information anyway? We're leaving now. I guess we go out and see if anything happens. We have the information we came for. You attained death certificate. Name Raiko Sagari. Age 13, gender female, birthday eligible, time of death August 3rd, 2.20 p.m. Raiko Saguri, it's her death certificate. And you attain contact book two. Unable to reach Raiko Saguri's guardians, their home phone was, has been disconnected and they cannot be reached by cell phone. Raiko Saguri's bio will be kept in the basement morgue. Parent contact Yuko Saguri. Oh, we're going to her home. That's a new location. Because we have not been inside of her house. Oh, we have her phone number now. Hmm? No contact with her mother. Did something happen to her as well? You add numbers to the notepad. If I am to make a correct assumption, I'm guessing it's time for us to try and end this by bringing it back to her home. Her house in the middle of the street. Her house. Let's go do that. This is the Indian phone number. 997 674 Six eight one. Let's do it. <laughs> and I thought that was going to be the end of that chapter, so oh boy. All is to what it is. And let me guess. Let me take a goddamn guess. Because I know video games. And I know what this video game's been doing. Now that I finished up that chapter, it's now going to make me play the final chapter as the girl again. I'm going to have to replay the chapter and. Alright. I don't know what that sounds about. Anyways, I can get out of here. I think the number that I need to call is 997 771 684. Here we go. I was right. Let's do this to it. Okay, that's new. That's new. What? We don't want to get caught by them, I don't think. Doesn't seem to be powered. Guess 
I don't see anything. Well, that happened. Now it's time to try and get to the end scenario. Is it recording? Things are good. To make sure I don't fuck this up in any way. <clears throat> Let's go to the, all the new stuff. I'm excited now. Reiko's mother also got dragged into the mnemonic abyss. This is true. Is that the cell phone? Actually, what is that? Is that a toy robot? It looks like a toy robot. So this is actually Reiko or Koroneko's home, which we've not been to previously in the game, so let's see how this rolls. It's a retro robot doll. You don't say. It says S. Amano. There's a trick that moves the lower body. Let's see. What is this? Sadeo's flash drive? I'll need a computer to check the contents. You obtain flash memory. Well, did I expect a transforming robot was actually a flash drive? It's a table with a heater. Hasn't been used in a long time. Alright, I guess that means that we're going to continue investigating. It looked like a note I could pick up, but I guess it wasn't. These are fake flowers, of course. I think there's something kind of creepy about dark homes. I've always thought that, though. Since I, went, I think I've thought that homes can be a little bit creepy in the dark ever since I went and stayed at my great-grandmother's house for a few months. That was a pretty creepy place in the dark. Anyways, though. Nothing there. It doesn't seem to be connected. It doesn't seem to be connected, you don't say. Down here, if I spawn here, the cell phone has to be close by. I've never not spawned close to the cell phone. But it's not immediately here either. Wait, there it is. You obtained the cell phone. Well, that just happened. What's over here? Can't really tell too much. Can we look down here? Random continuation of the noise. There is someone desperately sobbing, and it's definitely not me. <laughs> or maybe it is. In the freezer, there is a little bit of food, but not really much, to be quite frank. It's kind of a big free or refrigerator for just not having much on it in general. So it has to be one of these two rooms. It's a drawstring bag. It looks handmade. Neither of those doors that will open. Nothing in either of these. You obtain Yuko Sagari's Diary 1. October 28th. Lately I've been very busy. My afternoons at the engineering firm won't be enough to pay for Reiko's hospital bills. I applied to work nights at the convenience store, so I won't be coming home until late at night. This one's actually multiple pages. I think it's the first multiple page document I've seen. November 17th. I talked to Reiko. 
It's been a while. She asked me why I broke my promise to meet her yesterday. I had to cover for a girl at work who was sick, but maybe it's too much to ask a child to understand. February 7th. When I left, I said I would protect Reiko, but I don't know if I can keep my promise. No matter how hard I work, there never seems to be enough money. I know it's all for Reiko, but I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Our phone was disconnected, and there's nothing I can do about it. April 24th. I've been getting dizzy spells. I've decided to quit my job at the convenience store. I just couldn't keep up. But the engineering job isn't going to be enough. What am I going to do? May 9th. I can't do this anymore. Life is just too hard. June 17th. I came to the mountains thinking about committing suicide, but my legs gave out when I looked down at the ocean from the cliff. I can't believe I'm still afraid to die, even after I left Reiko. July 6th. I still haven't brought myself to commit suicide. I'm using fake names, going from place to place. The hospital might be looking for me since I didn't pay the hospital bills last month. Reiko, I'm so sorry. July 21st. I continue my life in hiding. I can manage to support myself with part-time work. Those busy days behind me feel like a dream, but perhaps this lifestyle is the dream instead. I still think about Reiko, but I can't go back now. Still, I can't bring myself to throw away the cell phone, although I keep it turned off because I'm afraid of getting a call from Reiko. Hmm. Close that and that. Let's look around these parts. Was there something more to investigate there? Doesn't really seem like it. It's a drawstring bag, looks handmade. These doors are closed. Guess I need to investigate this area a little bit closer. Is the crime still happening? Yep, it certainly is. It's empty inside, like my heart. Now let's uh, look. Nothing inside the rice cooler. I guess the door out of here seems a little bit suspicious. Yeah, that's closed. There's just shoes in there, and not really any type of shoes I need. Nothing I can pick out inside there. Hmm. There's probably a bit more to do in here then. Anything on the cabinet shelves? Anything up here in the drawers? No? The crying sounds loudest over here. It's an old fan. Oh. It doesn't seem to be disconnected. Maybe. Wait. Cabinet. really nothing in here for me? No way there's something, or is that just the hand? That's just the hand to close it. I thought it was on to something because I didn't get to see it before. It doesn't seem to be connected. Nothing there or here it seems. These won't open. Let me look at this. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Oh, I know these puzzles well. I've already solved it, though. Ta-da! Good, it's open. You obtained Yuko Sasagari's Diary 2. August 4th, Ryako killed herself. I can't believe I had to find out about my own daughter's suicide from the news. Ryako, 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 Ryako! I'm sorry for being such a horrible mother. August 5th. I can't bring myself to come forth to say that I am her mother. I haven't paid the hospital bills, and I can't afford a funeral. What will they say when the mother suddenly appears after two months without contact? Now that I don't have Rhea, there's no point to going back to my old life. August 7th. Have I gone crazy? I hear voices from the cell phone that has turned off. It's Rayako's. She blames me for not even going to see her after her death. Rayako, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... The rest is blank. Reiko Asagari was abandoned by her mother. She hated her mother so much. 
If Reiko Sagiri's ghost created the Minimic Abyss, then she must be in the hospital. If I can calm Reiko's anger, maybe I can erase the Minimic Abyss. But how would I do that? What did I just do? What did I just do? Hmm? Something fell out of the diary. That's not my main concern. You obtained Kayako's Lair too. Oh boy, another layer to add to my layer collection. Alright, let's see. Dear Yuko Isaguri, it's Nurse Bino from Komaro Hospital. I understand how busy your schedule must be, but please come see Reiko when you can. Reiko smiles so much when you come to visit. If there's anything I can do, please just ask. Kyoko Habino. Kuramiya Hospital. I think I need to check it out again. Fucking, I don't want to check the hospital out again. I was done with the hospital. Well, I guess we're going back, though. Alright. I guess I'm going to call the director's number. Ah, uh, yep. There we go. 9974476. Six nineteen. Let's call. Back to the hospital. Ore? Mo, mo, si, mo, si. Mo, si. So, no, koi wa. Masaka, kimi ga deru to na. So, ko wa, kromiya biyoin da na. E, do shite shida san ga? Biyoin e ten shio to motta da ga. まあ、それはいい。それより、よく聞くんだ。教会にはいろんな場所が点在するが、これらが発生したことの発端は、そのクロミア病院にあるはずだ。それってどういうこと平たく言えば、クロのページを使って、我々を教会に引きずり込んだ
Papers that seem to be research materials are jammed in. Oh, it's a cell phone. Guess I'll go pick it up in a moment. First, I'm going to save with you, kitty. Save there. Save at the kitty. Save at the kitty. Yes. Now let's pick up the cell phone. You obtained the cell phone. Damn, it's broken. That's unfortunate. It's a toilet bowl. It's toilet paper, plunger. All right, that door will not open. <sighs> Food. Food containers are strewn about. Can't look inside the fridge, or maybe I can. Yes, I can. You got a lot of food prepared. Ready for the apocalypse, I see. Got all these snacky, easy to prepare foods. All over here as well. There are a bunch of empty containers. There are a mountain of cigarette butts. It's like a ghost girl video game. This photograph, Sadayo. Give me a second, I'm not done exploring. I see the computer turned on. Uh, this must be Sadayo's room. It definitely could have been. Uh, have I looked at everything? Oh, I gotta observe this? Wait, what? something. Learn to flush after you use the toilet. Now, <clears throat> I guess the front door and over here is all that I'm missing. Yeah, that happened. I guess that indeed <laughs> happened. Let's go look at this. I'm gonna look at some stuff around the computer, like this hit new horror video game. Maybe some posters above it. Alright. A computer. Perhaps I can check the contents of the flash drive with it. Actually, that's not a bad idea. All right. Now then, I guess it's about time to get going with this. Let's insert the flash drive. <laughs> looks like a little robot. Oh, looks cute. Password. Uh. around here? The shirt is full of wrinkles. Are you closing your little father's picture? <sighs> I'm hunting. I'm searching. Actually, I've got two random ideas. If it's Sadako, maybe it's her last name. What was her last name again? Let me. You can find that on the cell phone. The cell phone is broken. This doesn't matter. It's not what I'm looking for. Alright. 
file. Actually, maybe I can find it like this. Uh, notepad. I wanted to look at it. Maybe it was written down in the file. Yeah, it was. Let me look at something. What was her last name? Contact book two. Yuko Asaguri. Let's try Asaguri. It's my first idea, because I got two random ideas. 